is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're going to see simple entry animation. Um, I saw an, a question on the Facebook group, on the Big Bricks First Facebook group, for a, a simple entry animation. So I tried to uh, reproduce the, the, the request and try also to propose something new. So um, that's an animation that we can see quite often on websites. Uh, it's a kind of fading up animation, so let's see how it looks like. So let me refresh the page. You see, oops, it's fading up. There is a small delay for the parts on the left. Meet the team. A variation on Meet the team, I made something this new with a clip path animation. Then another fading up and the one on the right was delayed and the last one with also the one on the right which is delayed and again another one this one the one on the left is delayed so let's see it once again okay 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 Okay, and the last one. Okay, so let's see how it's done in Bricks and Bricks Forge. So for the exercise, I use the community template. Uh, nothing special. I didn't make them. Uh, that's something you, you, for the exercise. What was easy to implement. So and I, on top of that, I created some animation. So there was first a fading up without delay so basically i'm creating a selector so i'm calling f y u p so for fading up i'm putting handle trigger separately this one is really important because otherwise if you don't put it all the uh, elements having the class f i u p will trigger at the same time when this one is uh, selected, they will only trigger when they appear on the screen because it's a scroll trigger. So for the top, uh, the scroll starts, the starting point, I put top 90%. So the top of the element will reach 90% of the screen. So almost the bottom. I didn't put 100 because I think I thought the 100 was too steep. 90% is a bit better in my opinion. And then if you want to have it on the um, your full website available, you put it everywhere. I put it on this specific page. So up to you. If you want to have it only on a specific page, you put the ID number of your page. And if you want the class to be available everywhere, I mean the animation on the class available everywhere, uh, you select everywhere. That's simple. So. So I'm creating uh, an animation. I don't put anything on the child, child selector. I'm selecting the method from, and I'm putting, so original uh, request by 40 pixel. I thought it was a bit slightly too small in my opinion. I put 100, but it's just personal taste. Uh, 40 is fine as well. I mean, it's up to you. There was, then the uh, opacity so our starting point is zero so from the one from the zero it will go to the one and is there something else duration was uh, 450 milli milliseconds i put one second in my case and that's it so it's quite simple nothing special um then I what I did to have the one with delay, I just duplicate it and I added a delay of 0 0.3 seconds. Ah, okay, okay, I forgot to mention I put a power one in and out. It's a kind of is in and out, but a kind of I mean it's more GZAP related. Um, 
that's it for this one and the last one so the one with the clip pass animation i just put this uh in the animation object so clip path don't put the dash in between and the second the path should have a um, capital letter uh, then two points uh, open the quote inset zero zero hundred percent zero close the quote that's it so basically it's pretty simple then what I did is every time I want the animation I put the class so FYUP so about hero I put the text with the one with the delay on the text and the one without the delay on the right so I put two team the same one basically but one with the um, which one I put the regular animation so the fading up normal one but I put a team number two and this time I put the CYUP so the clip in up so we have this clip path animation then the call to action I put an image with the FYUP and the content with the FYUP no delay so node and so on and so forth so every time I I want that an element is fading in up with or without delay I'm putting the class on it that I've created in the in Bricks Forge. Um, I think that's it for today. So thank you for watching and see you at another time.